Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure and function of mitochondria. Ok, I'm showing here a diagram of an animal cell. And one of the most obvious features of animal cells are the mitochondria. And in fact we find mitochondria in all eukaryotic organisms, including animals, plants and fungi. Now mitochondria play a critical role in aerobic respiration to produce the energy carrying molecule ATP. We'll be looking at respiration in detail when we come to that topic. In aerobic respiration, the carbohydrate glucose is broken down to carbon dioxide and water, and the energy contained in the chemical bonds of glucose is transferred to ATP. We can divide aerobic respiration into a number of stages. The first stage is called glycolysis, and glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm. The next two stages take place in the mitochondria. These are called the Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation. And oxidative phosphorylation is the stage in aerobic respiration which requires oxygen. I'm showing you a diagram of mitochondria in here. The first thing to notice is that mitochondria have a double membrane. We have the outer mitochondrial membrane and the inner mitochondrial membrane. In between these membranes we have the intermembrane space. Within the mitochondria we have a fluid called the matrix. As we said before, the Krebs cycle takes place in the mitochondria, and the enzymes for the Krebs cycle are found in the matrix. The enzymes for oxidative phosphorylation are found on the inner mitochondrial membrane, and you'll notice that the inner membrane is highly folded. These folds are called Christi. By folding the inner membrane like this, we have a great deal of surface area for the enzymes needed for oxidative phosphorylation. Ok, now in the mitochondria we also find a loop of mitochondrial DNA. This DNA contains the genes required for some of the enzymes involved in aerobic respiration. Mitochondria also contain mitochondrial ribosomes, and these synthesize the proteins encoded by the mitochondrial DNA. Ok, so as we've seen, mitochondria play a key role in aerobic respiration, and we tend to find larger numbers of mitochondria in cells which require a lot of energy. For example, muscle cells which require a lot of energy for contraction. Also, the mitochondria in these cells often contain a large number of Christi, and this provides an increased surface area for the enzymes needed for oxidative phosphorylation. Ok, so hopefully now you can describe the structure and function of mitochondria. 